Hi ladies, so this is a really short video. I wanna talk about why we chose to use Masterbooks and why we don't use it anymore for math. Now, if you don't know this, I taught high school math and I also tutored a lot of students along the way. I actually became a stay-at-home mom only five years ago and I've gone through a lot of math curriculum in that time, just trying to find the right curriculum for my kids. And mind you, I'm very critical since I taught math and I love math. So my expectations were just very, very high. So here it is. Masterbooks, I really like the fact that it's very simple and just easily laid out for the child to be able to kind of do it independently and on their own. At times they may struggle with like the wording and the explanation, but it's all in one book. So that's super convenient because the child can just take it out, jump right in, open to the lesson and go. There's no teacher guide to it. There's really just nothing else to it. So it is on the thicker side, but it's nice that it's all in one. So here it is. They do a really good job of explaining it. This might be really wordy for many students, but it is nice that they include the rule and then the child gets to copy it. Now again, it's not the approach I would take, but it is a very simple approach. They also include stories at the beginning of each section. So if your child loves to read, then they will really, really like this. One of my biggest struggles is honestly the simplicity of it. So there's one example where it asks you to divide the numerator and denominator by three, but honestly the thinking process is just not there. So instead they could have asked something like, what can the numerator and denominator be divided by? They kind of just tell you what to do and doesn't allow the child to actually think and like use their own brain and come up with a solution on their own on how to approach the problem. We also went ahead and had our fourth grader do the fifth grade level because that's what she placed into. It seems like they are about a year behind compared to where we were at um, and our child was just on grade level. Um, so we are coming from Singapore math, so obviously that curriculum is a lot more advanced than this one. But overall, I would say it's just a very, very basic curriculum. So if you want a super, super basic math program, this would be it. It's all in one. It's super easy to use. Um, like I said, the explanations are very, very basic. It doesn't take it to like the next level or challenge them. So if you have a strong math student, I would honestly discourage you from using this curriculum. But if you have a child who's really, really struggling in math, and you've tried Singapore, then I would honestly resort to something like this, that it's more basic. I want to add that every curriculum is going to have its pros and cons. Again, this is my own personal opinion. Some people absolutely love the Masterbooks program. It just didn't work for us. So the reason we actually switched is because I felt like my oldest daughter needed a break from Singapore. As much as I loved it, when they came out with Dimensions, it wasn't ready for her and I really wasn't ready to start with the primary education US edition and then switch to Dimensions in that same year. So I wanted to make sure that I have a curriculum that I could use for the whole school year. So we temporarily switched to Masterbooks and I decided that if I would really love Masterbooks, I would stick with it. But the truth is it was a bit too simple for me personally. And so we're gonna go ahead and switch back now to Dimensions. All right, ladies, so there you have it. That is my personal opinion on the Masterbooks math curriculum. I hear a lot of good things about Masterbooks and we also tried a few other subjects from them and they were great. This just didn't work out for us. If you have a comment on this curriculum, go ahead and add it down below. Or if you have any questions that you'd like us to answer, we would love to do that. Don't forget to hit like if you found this video to be helpful and go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you can get alerts on future videos. Have a great day, ladies.